What's good? What's good? What's hey, you good? You see, I surprised them with it real quick. Yeah. They're like, "Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on?" <laughs> Hey, we back up in it, man. Back again. Welcome back to Can I Buy with y'all, where the vibes are immaculate every Immaculate. time we do this. Every if, time. If it's your first time watching, it's your boy Kaz. You can follow the IG at C A Z underscore zero. And again, you already know it's your boy Chris. You can follow me on IG at Mathis023. But if you're watching on YouTube, even if you're not watching on YouTube, even if you're listening to the audio, we have these beautiful bottles in front of us. So I want to take a second to give a quick shout out. To Brett and Madison over at the team at Sovereign Brands. Thank you. And this is great stuff. We had a little bit off camera before we started, but we're going to start off with a shot of clock. It's been like a year and a half since <laughs> we had a shot of clock minute. during the episode. So why not? We're going to celebrate one time. Let's hit it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you Cheers. all for coming on. Thanks for having us. Of course. This one is my favorite. That like that. that this cream. one's empty right now. So Wait, is it? don't don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. I like this one though. It's smooth. Okay. And sweet. And I don't like sweet, but it's like it's a like good a good sweet. sweet. Yeah. 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 Shout out to them for real. We appreciate that. Yeah. Well, Chris, go ahead and start us off because you have some. I'm gonna get started. Entertaining okay. topics today. Okay. <laughs> Please surprise uh, me. So I'm gonna start off with: Would you rather have the love of your life or the career of your dreams? Ooh. Dang. And why? Dang. The career. The career, okay. Yeah. Of your dreams. Yeah. Why? Um, you don't want love? I mean, love is good. Like, love is great. I mean, you know, weddings are beautiful. Marriage is a beautiful thing. But at the same time, I feel like a career is make me feel like I have more, like, fulfillment, like, in my life than if I just, I don't know. Because you see girls that are, like, you know, have, like, four kids at, like, 21, 22 years old, but mm -hmm. they've been with the same guy since, like, high school, and they're like, oh, that's the love of my life. And I'm like, I mean, which is great, you know, if you want to live that lifestyle, but but personally, I would choose my career. Okay. I guess it depends on your goals, like, if they want a family. Yeah. But you rather climb the ladder, I guess, in your yeah. career? Okay. And what about you? Damn, that's a hard one for me. You got to answer the first one. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> the love of my life or the career of my dreams? Yeah. I know it's tough. I said it is a tough one a little bit. I cuz I could go either way, but like career of my dreams that's a lot of hard work and dedication. Mm -hmm. But love of my life like that's love and fulfillment that you can work around, you know? Mm -hmm. That's also that's a lot of dedication. hard work and dedication. And that is yeah. it is a, hard, a lot of hard work and dedication. It is, you're right. So I'm like the in between with that no, one. Well, okay, all right. I'll do the, I'll, <laughs> honestly, I'll do the love of my life because okay. I gain more love by having children. Okay. And even if I can't have children, I'll adopt. I will find hobbies to do if I can't have the career of my dream. I'll find okay. a lot of other things to do. There's so many things in the world that you could do than not have the career of your dreams, but still have passions that you care about mm -hmm. and passions that you love to get you through life. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So what what is your career of your of your dreams? You <laughs> knew it was coming. I knew I knew it was coming. Um, That's making you choose love over it. It whoa. <laughs> when you put it that way, it sounds bad. But no, that's what no, it is. no. That's I know it is. It is. It is. Right. The career of my dreams is to be a trauma surgeon. Okay. With that, you don't really have a life. Doctors don't really have a life. You know. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather. I think I'd rather have a life and have a family and have. The person that I love mm -hmm. to like travel and fulfill my life rather than be, st I mean, it sounds gonna sound bad, but no, be stuck in books, be stuck in books, be stuck in like a headache and then still not have time mm -hmm. for yourself. You still have to be cutting people up all the time. There's always trauma happening. There's always, it's sad to say, there's school shootings, there's yeah. so many accidents, there's so many things that happen, so there's always gonna, they're always going to need a trauma surgeon. Yeah. So at that point, you don't have time for yourself. You know, you're working hard through school, through your 20s, through your 30s. By the time you make it to med school, you're still working hard. Mm -hmm. And then you finally get to your career, you're still working hard. There's like... There's no break. Yeah. There yeah. is no break. Yeah. So I think I'd rather take the love of my life and enjoy living. That right. would be more fulfilling for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about my turn? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go with the career. I figured that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why? Nothing against the love of my life, whoever she is. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's like, it's kind of like an unknown, like for a career, it's like, if I know what the career is, 
Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, all right, I'm working towards that goal. This is my five year, 10 year, 20 year plan, whatever with this career. Mm-hmm. But for the love of my life, it's kind of like, it's kind of like go with the flow. There's also the possibility that it doesn't work out. Oh yeah. You know, absolutely. I don't want to think that way, of course, but you know, this day and age, you, you never know. I feel like a career is more guaranteed than mm-hmm. a relationship than love. Right. So it's kind of like I look at it as like my longevity with my love and my longevity with my career. And I feel like I have more stability okay. career wise. Yeah, that's true. So hopefully, like, you know, I have my career and the love of my life just comes with it. You know. Oh no no you gotta choose. Yeah, Either there's or. no vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's no you can't vote. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait wait. So if I have my career, am I like just single, just dug in? Yeah, bachelor life. And then if I if I have the love of my life, I don't have a solid career. Not necessarily. I don't think not necessarily. I mean, it's your question, but I think you. I mean, you could have a solid career and still have the love of your life. Not saying really? that it's. I think so. I think so. But for for your question. We'll say either or. If, say, if your career demands a lot of hours, how can you really get I time never, to the love I, of your life? Well, he said stable. A stable career. You can have a stable <laughs> career. What, I, I, so what's the definition of a stable career? Like, you could be, like, financially stable, but not... Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to not be... hours. It doesn't have to be the career of your dreams. Mm-hmm. It could still be a career. There's so many different careers Well, you said, you said career of your... Of, of your dreams. dreams yeah. right? So it is so, the career of your dreams. Right. Okay. But you can be with the love of your life and still have a stable career and a, a good career, mm-hmm. just not the career of your dreams. Okay. But yours takes up a lot of hours, yes. so it all depends on if yours takes up a lot of hours. True. I have a side question for both of you. Do you think being a housewife is a stable career? Not stable. Mm. Do you think it's a legitimate career? No. Because there are some women who actually plan to be a housewife. Like, like that's said, their goal. You said no. You said it's not that, that it is stable? No, I'm, I'm saying, stable? like, do you think it's legitimate? Because there are women who plan to get married and just be a housewife. I okay. mean, it, like, would you count that as a career? No. No. Really. <laughs> no. You're just a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home wife. You're, would I mean, you I don't count think that that's as a, a job? <laughs> no. I mean, till a certain point, I don't know. Not if your kids are, like... 15, 16, yeah. and, you know, I feel like, <laughs> you know, I feel like there's like an age where it's like, okay, I'm not a, I'm not gonna be a housewife anymore, you know, personally, like, just could not, like, imagine being married to, to someone, and then just, like, waiting for them to get home, like, I literally just could not, like, imagine that, that I would have, boring. right, <laughs> like, I would have to keep myself busy, like, I listen, w- but to counteract that, like, if you have kids, Girl, you're gonna be busy. No, that no, <laughs> no, and that and no, and that's what I'm saying. But until you know, they're like, yeah, 15, 16, point, yeah, you know. Well, I feel like true. once after you teach them how to drive, they're kind of like, oh yeah, they're gone. Yeah, exactly. That's still, I was 15, 16 years and, though. Yeah, but that's some people's that's a whole long career. Time. Let's get your answer, Chris. Oh, yeah, to my question. right. <laughs> I mean, that's that's easy to me. Um, I've been doing it my whole life. I just choose my career over love. It just it lasts longer. I got t-shirts that last longer than than women in my life to be honest so it just i'd rather just Quote choose that. my career mm-hmm. you should put that on a t-shirt what i got t-shirts that last longer than women in my life facts you're choosing the wrong women Let's talk that's about why it. they don't last in your life that long <laughs> it could be the area oh yeah, yeah. down here mm. <laughs> Question I, yeah i, I feel like that's it, it living here kind of helps this podcast i guess because there's a lot to talk about there's absolutely so many different experiences uh definitely not a good place for dating <laughs> no uh, shout out to those who make it work we're, we're talking living here like florida yeah okay. south florida specifically florida. south okay, florida yeah, but florida yeah, yeah. in general i saw something the other day where the i think the top three cities for infidelity are miami orlando and tampa oh yeah lovely why <laughs> don't they work huh why don't they work here too many options, like, too, many too, many, too many distractions. Yeah. So, like self control with people, they don't have it. Yeah, on both a lot ends. of people in this, yeah, in this area really don't. There's a lot of temptation. Yeah, a lot of temptation. A lot of temptation. Like you can be in a relationship, but there's people out there that are not in a relationship, mm-hmm. and honestly, they're single. <laughs> they're not in the wrong. Honestly, like at true, that point, true. there's that loyalty, and you don't have that loyalty. You're gonna give into temptation. Honestly, like I'm not against relationships but <laughs> i've had a lot of women in relationships come at me oh, yes. and that's what makes me not really <laughs> trust it 
down here. And I know it's other places too, but like, it's like, you don't even respect your own relationship. You coming at me. Like, what, what would your boyfriend say right now? <laughs> what would your husband say right now? I've had, I've had married women come at him, coming at me down here. Like, even tourists, like, when they're celebrating, like, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of girls that come down here with their, their group of girls celebrating a birthday <laughs> mm-hmm. or, like, a... Bachelorette party. Uh, yeah. yeah. Which is, they, like, so ironic. <laughs> they are on go. I'm just speaking from personal experience. Mm-hmm. It's just, like you said, like, they're about to get married and they're just... They're on oh. 10. They're yeah. ready. They're ready to go. And it's have, the same way with stories. bachelor parties, though, too. Oh, it, yeah, absolutely. All, 100%. It's just Miami yeah. is the place to go wild. I ain't even going to lie. I would be one of them. <laughs> I, I would be one of them. Absolutely. <laughs> My last hoorah. Oh, so Honestly, you, you don't like the pull of men down here? It's not the pull of men. Because, oh, yeah, kind of. It's just our generation. <laughs> guys nowadays, like, it's hard to find, like, a genuine guy. Like, I mean, as a friend, like, yeah, you're cool. Like, we can hang out. We're vibing. We can have a good time. Mm-hmm. But to be in a relationship with a guy out here, like, that's kind of almost impossible. Like, down here, it's almost impossible. Feelings mutual. It's just too many, like we said earlier, too many temptations, too many single people, too many. Like, it's just too much. Like, guys out here, I feel like genuinely cannot be trusted. But I'm saying the same about females. Okay. Like, it's not just guys. Because females out here, as a single female, like, females are <laughs> wild. And, like, we don't, like, care. Mm-hmm. Like, single females do not care who you're with. If you're with somebody, if they want you, they're going to get you. Mm-hmm. And guys are very easy to lean into that. Absolutely. Into, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, that's why I feel like out here it's just not. Okay. That's not it. I've seen times where guys have been like, "Oh, like I'm never getting married. I never, ma- I'm never doing this." And they meet one girl, and this one girl, like they're like willing to like, like literally <laughs> drop everything. Yo, I, but it happens. <laughs> it happens. I can't wait for the day. I can't wait. No, I mean like, it, but it doesn't happen a lot. But I have seen it happen. You know, those guy, like those yeah. guys who have like always been players or never were like oh like i'm never gonna get it. and then it happens like it, it it's like and it doesn't and it's i mean i know south florida <laughs> is a big partying scene but you can meet them at like the gym or like you right, know right. work I can't, or I like can't. something like you can and i'm not even like saying but i'm i but i have seen yeah instances like that i yeah. cannot wait for the day till chris texts me he's like <laughs> yo that's the one <laughs> you're invited to my wedding bro <laughs> <laughs> That's never going to happen. Oh, man. Ever. If it does, ooh, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I'm pulling up all the footage, Vito, too. You've been like, through some shit, huh? Females have been, like, they broke uh, your heart. Uh, no, you, you break females' hearts. Yeah. Vito? Yeah. <laughs> get them, Kel. Get them. <laughs> I ghost a lot. I get bored. It's oh just... My, I feel you on that. Yeah. Especially that. Get bored or ghost? Uh, both. I get bored and then I ghost. Like, yeah. if I get bored of you, like... You can text me like three times. I'm like, most, not replying. Yeah. M- most women down here feel like they don't have to do anything. I just got to look pretty. You got to do more than that. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Can't really hold a conversation. Like, I'm ghosting. It's, it's done. Mm-hmm. You have yeah. no substance to you. It's. I feel like it's like that the same way for guys. Though. Really? What? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. If a guy is genuine, you can have a conversation with them. But then, like, the conversation kind of ends short. Right there, it's like... <laughs> You read the vibe. In person or through texting? In person. In person. And texting is 10 times worse. Maybe you've been with the wrong man. Mm. I, I probably oh have. My God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> you I got to come back to this. <laughs> no, you're, I mean, maybe not actually, because I've had some good guys in my life, but I get bored. So I leave. Like, mm-hmm. I ghost. I forgot where Even I was. Even the good guys. Out. Yeah. No. N- yeah, I'm mm. not gonna lie. Yeah, mm. but there there hasn't been a lot of good guys. Like, cause at the end of the day, guys want one thing. Wait, wait, so why do you ghost good guys? I don't. It's not necessarily good guys, but sometimes like the good guys, they're weird. Like, some good guys, they come off like they put the front that you're a good guy, but the more you get to know that good guy, mm-hmm. it gets weird. So at that point, you're like, nah. Okay. Like. Well- I haven't met like a genuine good guy that's like to his word because the moment they they 
guys put up a front. Mm -hmm. But females do too. I'm not saying females yeah, don't. You got to play the game. Ex exactly. And mm -hmm. the game is played. Once the game hits fucking checkmate, mm -hmm. like, it gets weird. Uh, yeah. It gets it's weird. True. All right. So I'm going to transition to this next topic because we learn about you. We learn about you. We learn about what people like. So you ever heard of love languages? Yeah. I'm sure you have. Okay. So maybe some people haven't heard about it. I'm going to read off the five love languages for the people who haven't heard it. Oh, yeah. I only know two. Yeah, let me hear this. And I want you to let me know which one you are or which one, you know, defines you. So it's quality time, words of affirmation, physical touch, gifts, and acts of service. So, Alexa, let's start with you. Mm, I think acts of service, definitely. Personally, I don't trust words. I trust actions. If you actually are willing to do something or help out or actually like show that you care, or you want to help out the person, then I feel like that's like definitely more important. Wait, I'm still confused on acts acts of services. What like give me an example? Acts of service, like I mean, it could be like. I feel like giving you a gift would be... I mean, it could be, like, making your lunch, like, if you go to work, or it could be, like, you giving know... Giving you a massage. Yeah, or, or like, taking okay, to so go like get your... nurturing, almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Or, like, taking to go get your car cleaned, or, like, like I don't know, just, like... Okay. All right. Yeah, you know. Okay, I just so want to understand what, it. what will yours be? Uh, definitely physical touch. 100%. Oh, I, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Chris. <laughs> what happened? Explain, though. Explain. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. no. Wait, wait. It's like, and you laughing, too. No, the way Let's you do it. were like, physical touch. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I kind of just, like, I mean, I kind of just assumed that that was what you were going to say. I assumed that was going to be the least one. Really? No, I thought physical touch. I, I kind of just assumed different. it. I'm sorry. Explain. I'm Explain. sorry. No offense. I'm sorry. No. no Carry no, on. No, no, I'm no, sorry. No, no, <laughs> um... <laughs> no, I'm going to be honest. I'm a very sexual man. I, I need physical touch, 100%. Um, I was dating a girl for three years. I moved, and I couldn't, I couldn't stick with her because I needed her to be there. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like physical touch. I like cuddles at night. That might be considered soft, but I need that. Mm -hmm. I like that. So I'm just, like just cuddles, but you don't like relationships. Right. You think you can spend the night? What? Just you, get like a teddy bear. Not enough. You can spend, <laughs> <Not night>. enough. <laughs> you spend the night and then leave in the morning. You got a body pillow. You cuddle with your body pillow. No, it's not the same. Yeah, get like a teddy bear. <laughs> right, or something. So let me like, ask. It's not let the same. me ask. Because you said you like girls with substance. They need to bring something to you. Mm -hmm. So if she only got physical touch. She only got her looks, and you only fucking. But she don't got nothing else. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for a relationship. That's all but I need. But you said you need someone who brings something to you. That's looks is mean. looks is like you know, not it. Well, not a lot of girls have that, so... Have looks? No, like substance. What is the question? I don't really get it. You said physical touch is your number one. Mm -hmm. But before you said that when you... If you are going for women, mm -hmm. you're not really going for them just based on their looks. You yeah. More than that. But I haven't had anyone for that. So now it's just... I kind of lowered my standards. So now it's just, you know, let me touch you and that's it. Like, yeah, I mean, like, if you do have substance, then it's like, okay, it's like brownie points. It's like a bonus. But most of the time, they don't have that. Okay, so what I would still, your, what your second be? I don't really trust words. Um, service. Okay. Acts of service, I guess. So we're going to get deeper. What's an act of service that, oh. is, you know, if your girl did for you? <laughs> it's well, still physical, so I don't know. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You're like giving me like roadhead or something. No, no yeah, basically, <laughs> no touching you, Chris. Basically, no touching me. I mean, I'm stressed out. Come over and help me relieve it. That's an act of service. We're not going to count is that. Is that not? It is, but we're not going to count that. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm learning about you too as we do this. You never thought about like, damn, I wish a girl would just like you know, do this for me. No. Go pick me up some coffee. Took me some breakfast in bed. Have some dinner cooked for me when I get home. Nothing like that. So what if she like, baby, I want to save you a trip to the grocery store. Let me know what you want. I'm going to go get it for you. Okay. <laughs> That's not like really. Oh, yeah. Good luck to whoever That's gets it. Like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that doesn't really mean too much to me. My, the store and she, is and right there that and I she go buys to. your groceries. 
I had a girl buy my groceries. Oh. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. I mean, you saved me. 20 minutes. Yeah, and a couple of dollars, I guess. Like, that's not. Uh, Your whole grocery list. $100 worth of groceries. An hour worth of shopping. Thank you, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good luck to you. Appreciate it. That, that, oh my that, God. that doesn't mean that much to me. What means much to you? Head. That's it? I'm very blunt, so yes, it is. You better have some good head. Yeah. So what happens? <laughs> <laughs> so what happens if she comes to give you active service and she wants to give you head, right? Mm-hmm. But the head is ass. What do you do then? Bye. Like, you just stop her, like. To get out. I'm not into coaching either, so yeah. It's nice knowing you. You ever stop? Th- this you, was you, fun. You ever stop a girl mid session? She going crazy. She thinks she's going crazy, and you just stop her. No, no, I haven't. I just you just let her go, even though it's bad. No, no, I don't let her continue going, but I kind of take over and just. Can I? <laughs> you want me to say it? Go ahead. <laughs> like face fuck her, basically. Just remove her hand and like just sit there. Don't move. He said, don't do shit. Just give me your mouth. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the act of service. Yeah, basically. Bring him your honest. mouth. That is his, the act of I'm, service. I mean, That's if she sucks at it. If she's terrible, then, I, then it's like, I'll do all the work. You just sit there. Because I'm not into coaching. Why are you making that face? You already know how I am. I don't know how you are. I learn about you every episode. All right, so let's go to yours. And why we got to go to me? Why don't you go next? Because I'm last. That was my question. I'm last. <laughs> mm. I can go next. No, I can go no, next. Fine. Um, what was the question? Love language. What's your love language? Uh, quality time. I should have gone first. Uh-huh. But go ahead. That's it. Is quality sex time. considered quality time? Oh. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, kind of in a <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, but you didn't say nothing about no quality time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. Quality time to me, like, you can be sitting with me in the kitchen while I cook dinner. Like, okay. I'll be satisfied. Mm-hmm. Like, sit next to me while I, like, do something. Like, I, it's, it doesn't take much. Like, as long as you're present and you're with me, by me, like, by my side, like. So if know. his is acts of service and yours is quality time, that would be, like, a perfect combination. Because, say, you're making him dinner, and then he's spending time with you while you're cooking. Is that your ideal yeah. soulmate, I guess? Maybe, I guess. I mean, I never thought of it that way, but yeah. Well, I guess I'll piggyback. Mine is quality time, too. That's why I said I should have gone first. <laughs> quality time, okay. I'm surprised by that. I, didn't, I did not really? expect that. What do you think it would be? Physical touch. No. Cause, well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I associate quality or physical touch with quality time. Because yeah. if we spend the quality time, we probably going to end up touching each other. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But physical touch is just a part of it. I look at quality time as like, all right, you set aside time to spend X amount of hours with me. I appreciate that. I'm going to give you my quality time during this X amount of hours. It might involve physical touch. It might involve an act of service. It might involve a gift. But I feel like quality time is like... All of them in one. Yeah. Because words, I think... Actually, gifts is actually my last... Cause I don't really. If you give me a gift, I'm thankful for it. But like, I don't. I don't need a gift. Mm-hmm. Uh, words. I'm like you. I don't need you to tell me what I appreciate it. But like, you know, it can go in one ear and out the other. Rather like, than it might show not it to you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I feel like quality time is like a genuine, way of, a genuine way of showing it. Cause if you're with me in that moment, you can't be doing nothing else. True. So it's like I kind of have your trust in that moment. Okay. Because it's real quick for people to be like, oh, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for you or this, whatever. But you can set out time and spend time with me. That's quality time. Mm -hmm. Like, that's your time. So it's both of our times together. Mm -hmm. Quality time. That takes a lot. Like, people really don't have time. Everyone has, as individuals, everyone has so much going on. So if you can take out 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and just spend time with me, that's a lot. Like, you took out time of your day to just hang out with me. Undivided attention, yeah. like not on the, on their phone. Okay, mm. <laughs> let's get your question. Let's get it. Okay, so it's um it's pretty popular today that the narrative today from women is that men don't appreciate and respect women anymore. Do you guys agree or disagree with that? You kind of nodded your head already. I do, and I don't. Honestly, 
I mean, wait, sorry, can I just, like, go off, I guess? Go ahead. Okay. Go crazy. <laughs> no, um, but honestly, a lot of women now don't respect themselves. Like, mm. okay. okay. I was not expecting that. Go crazy. Okay. <laughs> wow. I know, that, yeah, that was a little bit controversial, but, I mean, they really, like, don't. All right, so I got a question for you right now. Oh, God, here we go. Everybody has a price. A price? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, if you were dating a girl that did OnlyFans, would you do it if you got paid 100000 per month? Oh, for make, sure. Make, making content with her. For sure. All right, we're speaking hypothetical. So, one, <laughs> one. Everybody has a price. Like I was saying, say? I would even want to be in a situation mm-hmm. where I'm with the girl doing OnlyFans. But everybody got a price. Mm-hmm. 100000 a month? Yeah, I mean, that's like one2 I, I I have to take that. Okay. What about well, you said I'm making it with her? Yeah. What kind of content is it? Oh, you already know what it is. Everything. I'm slanging that thing? There's toys, <laughs> everything. Damn. Yeah. My ass out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100000 Damn. Per month. That's 1.2. At that point, that, I might as well make the full transition and get into it. That's your girlfriend. No, nah, she gotta be my wife at that point. I ain't doing Ooh. this. I ain't doing this with a girlfriend. Wow. Okay. I'm not gonna do this with the girlfriend. Potentially, do it, it don't. It don't your work out. Wife is on. Okay. I'm saying hypothetically. Right. 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 If right. it's a girlfriend, don't even work out. Mm-hmm. And then now I have this, you know, past of I was an OnlyFans star. Would you date a guy that has an OnlyFans? That's sus. That is no, like no. Matter of fact, matter of fact, what if he's like a top? What is it called? Like a top one percent? Yeah. Guy. No. That's sus. Hype, I mean, he got money. Though. He knows what he's working with. Like, he could, he could slay it and... No, no, no. Ask them the same question. Not would they date. They're in the same... You're already dating him. <laughs> All right. You're in the same situation. Mm, okay. 100000 a month. No? No. Each? I don't yeah. need $1.2 million. I don't Is need that- it. It would be nice. I don't need it, though. And he's slaying that thing. Uh, like, I mean... The best if sex If the you sex ever is great... Mm. Honestly, and you getting paid. I wouldn't want anyone to see month. it though. Honestly, maybe. One point two, but like one point two, I wouldn't say I'd have a relationship or be married. No, 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 you ain't like, got no choice. You, you are <laughs> in a relationship. One point two in a relationship, and do it. Would you be okay? With we might as well get married at that yeah. point. I mean, at the end of the or day, you, I, feel I, can't, like, I can't do this no, no, no more. No, no, this is too much money and too much like. <laughs> like <laughs> at the end of the day, I feel like it's the female that gets exposed most. More oh, than yeah. that, absolutely. So if I would be okay with it, then at that point we're running with it because mm-hmm. it wouldn't really be a guy's choice at that point. Um, as far as me personally, mm-hmm. for that much money, yeah, one point two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got to hear the answer. Yeah. I probably would, because they make more than strippers. And at that point, you on a pole, and you shaking ass and dropping down and showing everything. Okay. For and like you said, you're you're more at risk because you know your face is being shown. Like people gonna but know you. Like hey, I, mean, I, I but know if you. I've seen you before. I don't give a. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm in a relationship with you, but if we married now, like I get it. I get why he said marriage because mm-hmm. at that point, we both know like it's not just me they saw. They saw you too. We make movies. <laughs> I'm it's getting creative. I'm, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna get the whole cinematography. <laughs> oh, oh, so you you role playing? Oh, I was about for to say you're role sure. <laughs> I'm getting into it. This is my life now. I gotta accept it. Okay. But wait, how far out are you willing to go? How long of that? Like long enough to. Preferably like, on the shorter end, but it would okay. depend how much money came in. All right, all right. Like, what if we're like? I, damn, I've this heard. Is, of- couples like i know like a couple that have been on it before and they ask for some crazy stuff like people ask and they'll pay you more oh like the, the fans like, ask yeah for crazy like stuff? some crazy stuff you get so tied you would, up yeah like what you doing <laughs> minimum like 1.2 <laughs> 1. 1.2 1. i'm just gonna drink to that <laughs> <laughs> Like some Fifty Shades of Grey, but like the roles are reverse. Right, on you. Listen. She got you tied up, stretched out. What you going to do? One point Unfortunately, two. this isn't our Patreon content yet. Mm-hmm. So I can't go talking crazy. Mm-hmm. 
Sounds like a yes to me. Oh, <laughs> oh what you? Oh, okay, oh, okay. All I'm saying is, we gonna be living good. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna end with you though. Answer your own question. What was it? <laughs> you talking about like, oh, what, wait, what wait, I, what wait, I, what wait. I did? We didn't, no one else answered the question. We were stuck on the OnlyFans on her. Yeah. Oh. Girls say that guys don't respect them anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like those relationships that you see those like old people, like, oh, they were like, like, they, like they've been together for like 65 mm -hmm. years. It's like, that. like, she probably dealt with so much stuff that, like, like, yeah, she probably. They probably both did. Well, she probably dealt with, like, a lot of, like, abuse and, like, cheating. And because, like, women, like, and not to get, like, yeah. political. Yeah. Who, who, who said that, he was abusing her? I don't even no, know. no. Have you asked, like, have you went up to an older couple and asked them how did they make it work? I mean. I have. They all said, love, love. I'm like, mm-hmm. That, that, that's what they have told you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got something different. Okay. okay. <laughs> Usually the woman literally, every I've asked probably like maybe 10 to 20, they, the woman looks at her man and he says compromise. And it's usually him mm -hmm. making a sacrifice. That's funny how you said, like, love. I don't know. That's like pixie dust. What, what it's that? like, yeah, what, it's like generic. It's like know. generic. Compromise, that's, that's a little bit more realistic. You do have she, to compromise to be together that long. Yeah. I'm, I've noticed most women, like, they'll look at their man and he'll be like, comp, like compromise. I, I walk out the house. He usually does. I mean, you become a different person when you get to that point. What do you mean? Like, you're giving a part of yourself to that person and things that you used to be able to do, you can't do that. That's how marriage works, essentially. But like you were saying before, it takes hard work and dedication. You don't just... There is love to it too, but you, like, there's a lot of compromise, mm -hmm. and that's why I I understand whoever is against marriage. I completely understand it. Weddings are fun though. Like, I don't even care if the wedding. Does, I mean, if the marriage doesn't last, I just want to go to a what? wedding. What do you hear yourself? What? <laughs> Weddings are fun. So for one day, <laughs> one day, yeah. That see, that's the problem. That's the problem. Women just be. I'm wanting. not getting married. It's not me. Categorize it into women. Most. I'm sorry. Most women. A lot of women. A lot of women. They just want the ceremony, but they're not thinking about the longevity of it. They're just like, I just want a ring in this beautiful ceremony with all my family. Beautiful. Because they've been planning this. Instagram. They've been planning this wedding since they were 12 years old, mm -hmm. and then it happens. And they go through the honeymoon phase, and then they get divorced. But the wedding was fun. And most divorces and then, are, are initiated by women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, because women now have more options. And you get bored. Yeah. There's, I agree in some ways, mm -hmm. but I disagree in some ways. Because go, go I, I agree in the aspect, like, at this point, in age, like, guys will sauce you the fuck up. Mm -hmm. But females will do the <laughs> same thing. Females will do the same thing. So yeah. it's like a, it's a, both ways, like, mm -hmm. yeah, like you said, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta yeah, like, the game. yeah, exactly. The, the game is played, mm -hmm. but like, it's just a matter of the fact if if females can't read the game, mm -hmm. then you feel disrespected. Yeah. But if a female can read the game, you're not getting disrespected. Yeah. You're gonna play the game, and you're gonna play it how you want to play it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you cave in or whatever, give in. At that point, do you really just like do you really respect yourself? two ways to it and girls are yeah. very like with the whole only fans and everything girls are very fast to just give and i'm not saying mm -hmm. it's a bad thing because mm -hmm. as your body do your thing do whatever you want like absolutely but at the same time like you can't give and then expect to be respected like if you're, you don't respect yourself mm -hmm. yeah. exactly right. like if you're giving and that's what a lot of females do like they give and then oh the, he doesn't respect me i like fucked him I fucked him so good. I sucked his dick so good. That I did this. I took him out. We went out. We went on date. Mama, he was trying to fuck. <laughs> like, how did you not get that? Like, at that point, you gave him what he wanted. You thought he was going to stick around? No. Like, if it was good, maybe he'll stick around. But if it wasn't, y'all are done. That's it. That's how, that's how the game is played. Mm -hmm. But females think that that quality time. That quality time that will a attract guy, them more. Yeah, like they, yeah, they they think that that quality time that a man puts out to get what they want mm -hmm. is like, oh, he likes me. Oh, like he fucks with me. But yeah, we about to get out of here. Shout out to the people 
Bel Air, Bamboo. Shout out again. to this. This yeah. is good. This, this, this good stuff right here. We appreciate y'all for real. Shout out to Brett. Shout out to Madison. Shout out to the whole team. Thank Get you. Get that for him. Right there. <laughs> you go ahead. Drop your IGs one more time for him. You got a camera right here if you want to talk into it. Okay. Um, all right. Well, again, my name is Alexa, and my Instagram is uh, Alexa G. Rojas. So that's, again, A-L-E-X-A-G-R-O-J-A-S. My turn. I'm Lisette, and my Instagram is Lisette, L-I-S-S-E-T-T-E underscore Pena, P-E-N-A underscore. And you already know, it's your boy Chris. You can follow me on IG at Mathis O two three sir and it's your boy kaz you can follow the ig at c-a-z underscore zero but don't go nowhere nowhere you know i gotta do it every time you can follow this beautiful podcast i cannot buy with y'all podcast on all platforms apple podcast spotify youtube google google podcast pandora everywhere tiktok instagram amazon we all over we all over but we about to get out of here appreciate y'all 